When British troops arrived at the capital on the evening of August 24th, 1814, what they really found were two buildings. There was a north wing where the Senate met and a south wing where the House of Representatives met. In the center, they were joined by a two-story wooden walkway where the Capitol Rotunda is today. The British troops split their forces into two. Some went into the north wing and some went into the south wing. They entered the south wing through this door, which at that time led directly to the outside. The south wing, which was begun in 1803, is actually about 10 years newer than the north wing. They're virtually the same on the outside, but inside, they're very different. Right through the door are vestibules in both the north and the south, similar in purpose and roughly the same size. But in the north wing, architect Benjamin Latrobe installed columns that looked like bundles of corn, the column capitals like bundles of corn cobs, and the shafts, corn stalks. These columns were necessary because Latrobe had to rebuild the north wing, even though it had only been in use for a very short time. The wooden construction from the original building was already deteriorating. He decided to replace it with vaulted ceilings made of brick covered with plaster. He was reusing the original walls, however. In order to carry the great weight of these new vaulted ceilings, Latrobe introduced these corn columns. They were very popular then and still are today. On the south wing, Latrobe had no such problems. He intended from the beginning to build the whole building with vaulted ceilings of brick and plaster, solid construction throughout the whole building, with the notable exception of the house chamber. The vestibule in the south wing has a cross vault in its center, and the south end is a half dome. The north end has an archway. It's a very simple space, but pleasant and harmonious, and one of the oldest surviving parts of the Capitol building from before the War of 1812. The south wing of the Capitol building was mostly vaulted construction, brick vaults covered with plaster and walls of stone or brick. This was a good thing because when the British tried to burn down the south wing, they had a very hard time. The only wood on the lower floors was used for trim, doors and window sash and shutters. The British smeared gunpowder paste on these wood pieces and tried to light them on fire, but they didn't get very far. The rooms on the western half of the south wing escaped without any damage and look almost exactly the same today as they did when the British saw them. There was so little work required on the first floor that when the workers came back to restore the house chamber, they actually lived in those spaces. On their way to the house chamber, the British troops passed through this space, what we call today the small house rotunda. This circular vestibule was the entryway to the house chamber and looks nearly the same as it did when the British were here. It survived because of its vaulted construction, but also because it was the escape route for the troops leaving after they set the house chamber on fire. It's the oldest surviving example of the use of a Greek architectural order in the United States and one of the most important surviving spaces in the capital from before the war.